So a couple weeks ago, northern Michigan was struck by a massive ice storm, and as you can see, there was some damage, especially to forests. I've seen a lot of pictures of bowed trees and nearly leveled patches of plantation. As woodland owners, seeing this type of destruction can be heartbreaking, because it feels like all our effort was wasted in a single day. But stuff like this is completely normal, and we should expect it to happen. These are the type of events that make forests forests. Usually, the changes in forests take place over such a long time scale that they're almost imperceptible. But as the saying goes, there are decades when nothing happens, and then weeks when decades happen. These storms are just that, a natural, albeit jarring, progression in stand development. And in order to protect your forest against them, you have to understand how they work. So the first thing we have to understand is what we call stand development, how forests grow. There are four general stages of stand development. In the first stage, the stand initiation phase, a newly disturbed forest is flush with new growth. Stem counts are high as vegetation fills every possible space to occupy. As these young stems grow, we reach what is known as the stem exclusion phase. During this phase, competition is heavy, and the trees per acre count drops considerably as the trees compete for scarce sunlight. Eventually, the winners are chosen, and the forest hits maturity, reaching what is known as the understory reinitiation phase. During this phase, mortality continues, albeit at a slower rate on a stems per acre basis. But because trees have reached maturity, gaps in the canopy created by mortality are no longer closed in by expanding crowns. Instead, every fallen tree lets in more sunlight to the forest floor, allowing the understory to regenerate with seedlings. As this progresses, this reaches what is called the old growth or climax phase, with a balance of new and old growth trees growing and dying in a perpetual cycle until large-scale disturbances, such as harvests, fires, or even a large storm, regenerates the stand completely. So if we look at a chart of trees per acre over time, it looks like this. These storms, like we saw in Michigan, are just part of this progression. But instead of it being gradual, it's kind of front-loaded. It looks something like this. Or alternatively, it happens to a more mature forest, in which case, it's just that stand reinitiation phase. The solution here, honestly, is conscientious harvesting. Managing your stand in line with this arc of stand development, with special attention paid to what we call the height to diameter ratio. You see, competition amongst trees is a bit of a paradox. Trees compete fiercely with each other when trees per acre counts are high. The scarcest resource is light, so they use most of their energy to grow up toward the sun to get more light. But in growing tall without diameter growth, they come to depend on the trees they compete with for structural support. If competition is removed too quickly, the entire stand can collapse, which is essentially what we're seeing with this chain reaction here. That can also happen if you remove too much of a stand during thinning or remove the biggest trees that already have more light than others, and thus more diameter relative to height. So you have to pay attention to the height to diameter ratio of your stand. If you leave your stand in states of high competition, the HD ratio will grow and the stand becomes vulnerable to these type of events. If you do thin, see to it that you're leaving the trees that are the least vulnerable, that is the trees with the lowest height to diameter ratio. And if you do have to leave vulnerable trees, which is sometimes the reality of the situation, be sure you aren't removing too much. As long as you're making some room in the canopy, the HD ratios will improve over time as the residual stand gets more sunlight and more energy to put on that diameter growth. Honestly, if you possibly can, I'd recommend thinning in at least two stages, either a pre-commercial thinning and a commercial thinning, or two lighter commercial thinnings, depending on the species and conditions. Now, as I alluded to earlier, thinning is only going to work if your trees are young enough to put on growth. If they're too old, you're going to find yourself in that understory reinitiation phase. And if you find your forest succumbing to damage from these events in that stage of development, I have news for you. Maybe it's time to think about a regeneration harvest. I think as landowners, even if we like and accept the idea of forestry and sustainable harvesting, we can still forget that forests aren't static. 
They're dynamic and chaotic systems, and they can move on to the next stage of development regardless of whether or not we want them to. So that's all for now, guys. If you want to learn more specifically about stand development, that's the framework I use to explain the art and science of silviculture in my silviculture course, which is available on Silvicultural. And if you join now, you'll also get access to our mapping application, sustainable harvest planning tool, AI Forester, and more. And of course, if you want to learn more about managing your forest in general, you can grab my free ebook, How to Read Your Forest, which you can get using the link in the description and comments below. So that's all for now. I'll catch you later.